So in this video, we are going to learn how to add Facebook leads to system.ios contact and add tag. Let's say you are running some Facebook lead ads to market your business and generate some leads. And you want that whenever a new lead is generated in Facebook lead ads, you want to add that same lead as a contact in system.io and also you want to apply a tag to that contact as well. So let me tell you, you can actually automate this complete process. In this automation, whenever a new lead will be generated, automatically the, with the same details, the lead will be added as a contact in system.io and we are going to add a tag to the same contact as well. So if you want to know how you can set up this automation, for that you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. Let's say I want to name my workflow as Facebook lead ads to system.io. And after that, we just have to select the folder of our Pavli Connect account in which we want to create this workflow and click on create. Now you can see our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is whenever a new lead is generated in our Facebook lead ads, automatically we want to add that same lead as a contact in our system.io account. And also we want to add a tag for that new contact as well. Now for that, we have to connect our Facebook lead ads account with Pavli Connect in the trigger window. So that whenever a new lead is generated, automatically the same lead is received inside Pavli Connect and this automation workflow will trigger. After that, using Pavli Connect's workflow, in the next step, action step, we are going to connect our system.io account and we are going to add that new lead as a contact in system.io. And after that, we are also going to apply a tag that, to that new contact as well. So let's see how it is done. Starting from a trigger window in Choose App, search for Facebook Lead Ads and select it. After selecting Facebook Lead Ads in Trigger Event from the dropdown, select the trigger event as New Lead Instant. After selecting a trigger event, we have to connect our Facebook Lead Ads account with Pavli Connect. So just click on Connect. Select add new connection and click on connect with Facebook lead ads. Now because I have already logged into my Facebook account in my browser, Pavli Connect will detect the same account and make the connection. And after connecting our Facebook lead ads account, the first thing it asks us is the page. That from which particular Facebook page from our Facebook account, we are running our lead ads. So I am running some Facebook lead ads on this particular page named as Green Pro Landscaping. So from this drop down here, you can see a list of all the Facebook pages which I have in my Facebook account. Out of all of this, we are going to search for the same page. So I'll search for Green Pro Landscaping. Just search for the page and select it. After selecting our Facebook page in lead gen form from this drop down, here you can see a list of all the lead generation forms which we have created for this Facebook page. Now, if you want to capture the leads from a specific lead gen form and add it into system.io, you can select a specific form. Or if you want to add the leads from all the lead gen forms which you have created for this Facebook page, then in that case, you can just select all lead gen forms over here. And after that, whenever a new lead will be generated in any lead generation form in our Facebook lead ads account, automatically that lead will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So I want to capture the lead from all lead gen forms, all forms in Facebook lead ads. That's why I have selected all lead gen forms. After selecting this, just click on save and send test request. And after clicking on save and send test request, it has now changed to waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some details, some data of a new lead from our Facebook lead ads account. So what we are going to do, we will go to the Facebook's or Meta's developer section and here we are going to generate a test lead. Now, if you want to know how you can use this lead ad testing tool on your Meta or Facebook developer section, we already have a dedicated video live on the channel. You can refer to that video and reach to this section. After coming here, we just have to select our Facebook page from this dropdown 
and the lead gen form in which we want to generate a test lead. After doing this, just click on preview form. And then here you can see our lead gen form is open in front of us in preview mode. Now we are just going to enter the details of a test user, a dummy user. For example, the name of this person is dummy user and the email address is this. After that, we are going to enter a dummy mobile number for this particular contact or this particular lead. Then we will click on next and click on submit. So just now using this lead ad testing tool, we have generated a test lead on our lead gen form. And because we have connected our Facebook lead ads account with Pavli Connect, we will see as we generate this new lead instantly within few seconds, the same new lead data is captured inside Pavli Connect. And yes, in our Pavli Connect workflow in this trigger window, you can see we have received the response. And in this response, you will see the details of the exact same lead. Here you can see the same name dummy user, you can see the same email address and also the same mobile number. You can see the date and time that at what date and time this new lead is generated and all the other details related to this lead. This means the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully connected our Facebook lead ads account with Pavli Connect and captured the details of new lead in our Pavli Connect workflow. Now after this, let's move to step two. In step two, we want to add this same lead as a contact in our system.io account. For that, we will just scroll down, come to this action window, and here in choose app, we will search for system.io. Just select it. After selecting system.io, in action event from the drop down, select the action event as create contact. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our system.io account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API key of our system.io account. Now you must be thinking how you can get this API key. So to get it, you just have to follow the help text instructions given below over here. Just go to your system.io account and from the right top corner, go to profile and settings. After coming to the settings page from the left sidebar, you can see this option of public API keys. Just click on it. And here you will see a list of all the API keys which you have created in your system.io account. If you don't have one or want to create a new one, just click on this create button, give this API key a name. Let's say I'm going to name it as Pabli and we have to select an expiry date of this API key. So let's say I will be selecting an expiry date in any time in the future. Let's say I'm selecting 1st of August 2024 and then click on apply and click on save and we are done. Just now we have generated a new API key in our system.io account. Just copy this API key from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And after pasting it, just click on save. Now when we click on save, we will see our system.io account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After connecting our account, the first thing it asks us is the email address. That what is the email address of the new contact that we want to create in system.io. So we want to add the new lead generated in Facebook lead ads as a contact in system.io. And while getting the new lead details from Facebook lead ads, we have received the first name, last name, email address, and mobile number. So all of these fields were created in our lead gen form, and we have received all of these details in the trigger step. Now, one by one from this response, from the trigger step response received from Facebook lead ads, we are going to map these details in the system.io action step. So we are going to map this email address in the email address field of system.io. So here you can see the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses of a new lead received in our trigger step from Facebook lead ads. Out of all of these responses, select the response of email and it will be mapped. In this way, whatever email address the user is going to enter, the lead is going to enter in our lead gen form, the same email address will be received inside Pavli Connect and with the same detail, with the same email, the contact will be created in system.io. After mapping the email address, it is asking us first name, last name, phone number. So we have received all of these details and we are going to use the same process of mapping as well. Just click here from the drop down from Facebook lead ad responses, select the response of post name and map it. Use the same process of mapping for last name and phone number as well. 
After phone number, it is asking us street address, postal code, and all the other details. Now, in our Facebook lead ad form, we haven't received all of these details of a new lead. And these fields, these details are not mandatory. They are not required. So if you want, you can ignore these fields for now as well. And then just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the details of the user which we have mapped over here. Basically, the new lead details, new lead which is generated using Facebook lead ads, that same lead is now added as a contact in system.io. So let's check it. We will go to a system.io account. We will just go to the contact section. And yes, here you can see dummy user, the same person with the same name, same email address, and also the same mobile number is now added as a contact in our system.io account. This means we have successfully added our Facebook leads as a contact in system.io. So step two of setting up this automation is also completed. Now after this, let's move to step three. In step three, what we want to do, we want to apply or add a tag to this newly created contact as well. For that, just click on this add action step button over here. And then here in choose Zap, once again, search for system.io. Just select it. After selecting system.io in action event from the drop down, this time we have to select the action event as add tag to contact because we want to add a tag to the contact which we have created. Then just click on connect. And because we have connected our system.io account with Pavli Connect in the previous step, we don't have to make a new connection. You can select the existing connection and click on save. After clicking on save, here you can see it is asking us contact ID. Now in this drop down, you will see a list of all the contacts which we have in our system.io account. But we want to apply the tag to the contact which we have just now created in the previous step. So what we are going to do, we are going to map the contact ID, the unique contact ID of this particular contact which we have created. So after creating the contact, in response, we have received the unique contact ID of this contact. So we are going to use the process of mapping to map this contact ID from this response to the add tag to contact action step. Now to map the details in this field, first turn this mapping button on in front of it and clear the default response. After clearing it from the drop down from system.io step create contact action step, select the response of ID and it will be mapped. In this way, whatever contact we are creating, we are adding the tag for the same contact in this step. After adding the contact ID, after mapping the contact ID, the next thing it asks us is tag ID. So it is most likely possible that you might have created multiple tags in your system.io account. So what tag you want to add to this contact, you have to select that particular tag over here. Right now in my system.io account, I have created only one tag that is named as Facebook leads. And I want to apply this tag to all the new contacts which we are creating, all the new Facebook leads which we are adding as a contact in system.io. So select the tag which you want to apply, which you want to add to these contacts. And after selecting the tag, just click on save and send test request. And we are done. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response and it is also a positive response. This response seems to be a positive response. So once again, we'll go back to our system.io account and we are going to refresh this contact once. And after refreshing to this contact here, you can see we'll scroll down and here under select tags, you can see Facebook lead. This same tag is now applied, is now added to this new contact which we have created. This means the automation workflow which we have created inside Public Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. Now after setting up this automation, we are going to basically test this automation workflow once. For that, we will just go back to our Facebook lead ad testing tool and we are going to delete the current lead, existing lead which we have created. So using this Facebook lead ad testing tool, we can generate only one lead per form at a time. So to create a new test lead, we have to delete the existing lead. I will click on this delete lead button and then we will see the existing lead, the dummy user lead will be deleted. Now we will just refresh this page once and once again, we are going to create or generate a new lead. So from this drop down, I'm going to select my Facebook page that is Green Pro Landscaping. We have the form. Let's click on preview form. And then after that, in this lead gen form, we are going to enter the details of another user. 
For example, the this time the name of the person is test user. This is the email address. So just now we have entered the details of another test lead, another dummy lead in this lead gen form. Now we are just going to click on next and click on submit. Now as we click on submit, we have generated another test lead using this Facebook lead ad testing tool. So just now we have received a new lead on our Facebook lead ads. Now as we receive this new lead, we will see using this public connect automation which we have created, automatically the same lead will be added as a contact in our system.io account and the new tag will also be applied. So once again, we'll go to the contacts page and yes, here you can see the test user, this particular lead is just now added in our system.io account. Here you can see the same first name, same last name, same email address and also the same mobile number. Also we'll scroll down and here you can see the same tag Facebook lead which we have selected while setting up the automation. The same tag is also added. This means the automation workflow which we have created, we have tested this automation in real time and it is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Powerly Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Powerly Connect account. Also, let me tell you, Powerly Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Powerly Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.